Yo, what up, what up? You already know what it is, man. It's your boy Drex OTG. Just wanted to take a couple minutes to share some things with you guys, man. First and foremost, thanks everybody who's been taking the time to listen to the new project. I really, really, really genuinely appreciate you taking the time out of your busy days. Throw me in rotation, you know what I mean? If you've been checking out the music, the videos, whatever you've been doing, even if it's just word of mouth or anything at all, you know what I mean? My, my most my most sincere gratitude goes out to you. So anyway, this video, I wanted to go on here and talk about five things, um, five behind the scene little facts that went into the creation of this project um, and everything about that. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the concepts of the project. So the whole concept was just to have like, sort of like a mixtape type of vibe to it. Just easy going, not too heavy on the subject matter. Just wanted to have a good time, give people something to put on and be able to bop to. Of course, me being me though, you know I was gonna have to throw a little something in there, something with some relevance and significance. So you got joints like My People, you got joints like Lethal, um, but that's two out of eight. Whereas typically, you know what I mean, with me, I I try to stay very conscious, very neo soul oriented. Um, this project is really just laid back, just having fun, man. You know what I mean? Just cool beats, mellow vibes. So, so we do, man. My swag different, my bag different. I know. <laughs> the um, the time. So, I basically did the entire project in like less than a week's time, man. I uh, I did things in between time. So I did like some writing while working out, you know what I mean? While running or whatever, lyrics would pop in my head. I would pull out the notepad, jot a couple things down. Um, sitting at home, eating dinner, same thing while I'm eating. I also got the phone up, I'm writing my lyrics. Um, so I would say, yeah, about a, a week's time, man, b b about putting everything all together, mixing it, recording it. You know what I mean? I would say probably about a, a decent week. Um, the longest thing just came for waiting like uh, for features uh, with COVID and everything going on. I had to wait for a couple of features, um, which is understandable. But I mean, that's pretty much it, man. The time, time, everything went real smooth, man. It was, uh, it was a nice transition from how I usually, usually I work on projects for a decent amount of time because I go through many iterations. I'll have this amount of songs at first and I'll take these off at this. This time it was like, yo. I got these beats, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. This what we choosing, let's work. Definitely had a fun energy behind it, man. Had a lot of fun putting this thing together. Um, like I said, I wanted it to feel like a mixtape, you know what I mean? Where you listen to your favorite artists. Like for me, Lupe is one of my favorite artists. So a Lupe album versus a first of 15 mixtape from back in the day. You know what I mean? There's always that difference. You can tell when they just trying to have fun. And that's what I did with this EP. I just went in there to have fun. So now one thing about me, you guys know I'm heavy with my workload. I always put out lengthy projects. So I'm working on that. That's why this is an EP. I had to constantly tell myself like, no Drex, do an EP. I kept being like, well, maybe I'll make it a small LP. But I'm like, but I got Legacy sitting there waiting and that's already done. I can't put out a full length before I put out Legacy. So I had to keep telling myself only do an EP. EP, only do an EP. There's actually more songs that I did that um, didn't make the cut. Not because they weren't great. And in some forms, it was even because they were too good, I felt like, to put on the EP. So, but you guys will be hearing those eventually. Um, they'll get out there one way or another. Um, but yeah, man, a lot of fun, man. Definitely, like I said, the energy behind it was legit. So, this should be releasing, this will be, there's no should be, this will be releasing before my virtual event. So January the 30th, uh, 2021, I'm doing a virtual concert. It's going to be dope, man. I'm going to be at my DJ studio. Um, it's legit, man. He got a dope setup. So um, make sure you guys tune into that. You can hit me up directly for tickets or you can go right here. Link going to be right there. Edit Magic. Uh, Eventbrite, you can cr grab your ticket on there, man. This is my first virtual joint. So I've done plenty of performances in person before, but with COVID and 2020 being the year that it was, this is my actual first virtual concert. I'm stoked, man. I'm gonna kill that shit. You know what I mean? You already know how I do. I'm gonna do the whole EP. I'm gonna do throwbacks from before. We're gonna have a night full of fun and excitement. Uh, excitement you know what I mean? But that's how excited I am, tongue tied and whatnot. But yeah, man, first virtual concert. Make sure you grab your ticket. It's gonna be lit. So I wanna talk a little bit about accessibility 
um, one of the things I did in the past was I used to put my, my um, music basically on like my one platform. Um, and then also I would give people direct copies of it. <clears throat> but in a digital age that we in the day, that shit ain't sufficient. So um, this is the first project that I actually have on all streaming services, Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music, YouTube Music, YouTube, you name it. You can use the music for your IGs, your Facebooks, your, your TikToks, all that shit, man. It's everywhere. So, you know what I mean? This is the first time my music has been so accessible as it is right now and I love it, you know what I mean? I've been getting such, such, such a good fan response. Um, I've been posting on my social media some of the things that the people who've been listening have been saying and I'm truly, truly grateful um, for the good response that it's been getting. I just hope it continues to grow naturally and organically, man. One of the biggest things as an up and coming artist is to try to find ways to grow your fan base. And a lot of times people, People support you. They may not support you in the way you want them to support you. So it's it's you, it's important to remember that you got to take it from where you can get it, and you just got to continue to grow your fan base and not take things personally. You know what I mean? If you know you a dope artist, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Continue to be a dope artist. So me, I know I'm a dope artist. I know what I'm capable of. I know my music speaks for itself. The goal now is just to get it out there for more people to be able to consume it. Um, but yeah, man, the accessibility and the fan response has been amazing, man. I'm, I'm definitely excited to see where we go from here. Now, overall, I must say this EP has helped me so much to grow as an artist. Um, I've went on ahead and recommitted myself to my craft. And what I mean by that is I went on and invested in the website. So tmepmusic.com. You guys make sure you go check that out it may not be live by the time i release this it's going to be live january 1st 2021 um i invested in merch so i designed um some merch we're going to have face masks t-shirts crop hoodies for the ladies regular hoodies for the fellas and we're going to keep growing man we're just going to keep elevating and going to the next level i'm really excited about my merch though like i said the design um, I think the way I'm going to craft my merch is it's going to be specific to the project. So the the, uh, the merch that I have right now is designed specifically for the it's just the, it's just the, uh, it's just different EP. Um, it's dope though, man. I got a nice little abstract graphic that symbolizes the concept. It's got the logo built into it, um, the label. So it's dope, man. It's a really dope project, um, really dope merch that we were able to make from it. So I'm excited for people to be able to get a hold of that. Um, and then, like I said, the website, I'm super excited about the website, tmepmusic.com. Um, you can go there for everything. All my videos are going to be on there. Um, all my contests and everything. Like right now, you guys probably don't know, we have a social media contest going on. If you use my music on your social media, your feeds, your stories, anything, Take a screenshot of it and let me know. You can DM it to me. You can email it to me. You're automatically going to be entered for a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card. And we're going to run this through the end of January. So today's date, what is today? It is the 27th. So we're running it from now. It's going to be live all the way into the 31st. So make sure y'all take part in that. Again, take a share, put a post up, use my music. So on every platform. Take a screenshot of it, get it to me, you automatically enter. Um, this is the last week for the pre-sale ticket, so I'm not gonna plug that. But again, I will plug the virtual concert. Make sure y'all go check that out. By the time you look at this, it'll still be on sale. Concert will be January 30th. And that's about it, guys. I wanna take the time to thank you for checking this out, man. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe to the channel, Drex LTG Official. Follow me on IG, Drex underscore LTG. Um, and on Facebook, Drex LTG, you know what I mean? YouTube music, all that good stuff, Spotify, Tidal, Amazon. I'm everywhere, man. Come holler at your boy. Help me grow, help me grow. You know what I mean? Y'all have a good one, man. Happy holidays to y'all. TMEP all day.